up guys welcome back once again it is me malt so happy to be here with you guys today we've got another episode of crazy loot raids up here in eliminate farms that's right we're gonna go ahead and scroll through um and watch some of these raids that people are posting um that's not a crazy loot raid uh <laughs> i mean it's not bad i'd be fine with getting it but let's go back um and i'm just i just really am just having people share their raids because it's so just awesome. Yes, this is all right. So this one's a collector raid. Uh, hopefully, it's pretty good. Yeah, look at that loot. So this is Ikwin Altjd, <laughs> whatever your name is. Uh, the clan's going really, really well. He's running around with um, a go garch type of strategy with goblins, giants, archers, and barbarians, and uh, just going to town with it. A lot of the guys in this clan actually run with that type of strategy uh, with the giants and whatnot. Um, and it seems to work fairly well for them. So uh, he got in this one completely annihilated. That one section right there already has over 100,000 gold and has only attacked a quarter of the base. Um, so this whole side right here, that giant's gonna do a great job of distracting. Uh, that wall breaker again was used to get those guys in there. Those goblins just completely destroyed that. There's only two of them on it. Um, now he's got to take out this left side and this top side uh, right here. So let's see how well he does. He's got a couple wall breakers left over. Going to get that rage spell in there. Get that giant up in there. Uh, they're going to have to take out the barb king. So that's why he used the rage spell. And I believe they used the rage spell at the bottom. Yep, to take out that queen. So um, he's about to get in the wall. It looks as though that wizard tower actually took out his wall breakers as they were breaking in there. So they're going to go ahead and take out that wizard tower and then get over to the rest of those resources. Already about to break 300,000 elixir, uh, which is going to help pay for the troops and the uh, the spells and then give him uh, probably 100,000 or so uh, to bank off of this. Uh, already gotten 1,500 dark elixir. Dark elixir is so important uh, and being up in Masters 2 is a great, great place to find it. Um, so here goes a, another raid right, or another corner right here. He's got to get the last little bit of those collectors. Get that queen up in there, level 26, which he's going to, um, which helps when you get this 1500 Dark Elixir upgrade your heroes, obviously. Um, then there's a little bit of gold left. How much is gold? How much gold is in this thing? Is there, don't tell me there's 140 just in that. I'm going to freak out. Oh, he missed one of the ones up at the top. Um, so the queen, the queen, oh, the queen. Uh, yeah, I would have ended it there too. So 237,000 gold, 2,700 elixir or dark elixir, and 335,000 regular elixir. That is a crazy loot raid. So if anybody else has shared any more, uh, this guy, let's, I'm going to go all the way down towards the bottom because there were some down here that were pretty good. Uh, yeah, this one was good. This was like his third surge, as you saw. Um, from that so once again guys another collector raid and he's in crystal too so hopefully these videos will kind of give you all um, an, an idea of where you can find good loot so both of these so far one has been in crystal 2 one has been in masters 2 um, uh, but I think that the majority of the good loot right now is in the crystal range and you get dark elixir as well but if you if, it depends on what you're farming for if you're farming for elixir and gold then I would say uh, go a little bit lower if you're going to use Barch. If you're going to use Lunian or something along those lines, you want to go higher. You want to be up in the Master's range. Uh, because A, you get a gnarly uh, loot bonus, 100,000 of each. And I believe it's it's 500 or 600. Um, Dark Elixir, I think it's 500. I'm not too sure. Uh, even though I was just there. Uh, so he's got one more uh, Elixir pump right there in the middle. He's got to take out that Wizard Tower with those... Uh, minions, and then they will work their way over. Gonna head on in there, get that 50,000 from one collector. That is crazy. That's crazy. So he's gonna go in there, finish that off. <laughs> oh no, there's two. Ah, he missed out on two gold, guys. Come on. Come on, Poseidon. There's two gold left. <laughs> two gold and two elixir. Uh, all right, so let's keep on looking through some of these. This guy said, uh, Easy Town House 7, nah, this money. Let's watch Chris. Let's see how he does. Um, Nice, that is some good loot. Over 700,000, and look at that dark elixir. Where is all the dark elixir? It looks like it's probably in the uh, in the collectors. Yeah, you can see that little black thing on top is completely full on all of those. I'm trying to find some dead bases like this. Give me some dead bases, man. All my clan mates are just crushing it right now. Um, so 
the thing about this base is, though, that he's got a lot of his elixir pumps in the middle. I guess he knew he was going to be gone or something for a while, so he put that in there. Who really knows? Maybe he just put it in there as a distraction, but at least the goal was on the outside. The goal is on the outside, but we're going to try and get in there to all that elixir uh, as well. So he's got 19 balloons left. We'll see how he uses them. This guy sucks when it comes to using his wizard towers. Look, both of those wizard towers are next to each other, and both of those are next to each other. That's not how it works, bro. That's not how it works. <laughs> you don't put your splash damage right next to each other like that. <laughs> so we're going to get up in here with these balloons, uh, just spamming them from the top of the base. Uh, he's gonna have to do something to get the rest of this dark elixir. Uh, I probably would have dropped down a couple balloons down here to get that, but he might have just been too excited about all that loot that he forgot about it. But he does have his king and his queen, so they're actually probably gonna get down there towards the bottom of the base and take all of that out. There goes that one storage up at the top. Already 300,000 gold, guys. Uh, starting to get in there and work on that elixir as well. You can see uh, those minions right there taking that one out. Is he gonna get it? Yeah, he got it with his last little throw up on there. Uh, the king's down here at the bottom. We got a couple minions over here on the side. Queen is down in the same spot. I would have brought the queen over to uh, the side. We'll see where she goes uh, because there is all of that dark elixir right here. There's probably a thousand dark elixir in that. Um, so I hope that he gets it. Looks like he's going to. His archers are going to head in there and take it out. But that was close. These are going to be the last little bit of troops to work on that. Otherwise, they wouldn't have headed over there. So almost 3,000 dark elixir right now. Um... All of his Dark Elixir drills are gone. The Queen is working her way in there. Uh, she's taking out an air defense now instead of that Elixir storage or pump. So hopefully she'll go after that. There she goes. And taking out some of that Elixir. And only two seconds left, so I imagine he quits here. But guys, look at that. 300,000 gold, almost 3,000 Dark Elixir, and 232,000 Elixir. So that's what I'm talking about. Another great, great raid. Let's see if they've shared any new ones up here. At the top. Nope, they're just chatting away, chatting away. Um, now, I believe that he shared a good one as well. What did Daniel share? Let's see what this guy's got going on, huh? Maybe. <laughs> wow. So, it's on all eight. And Daniel is. Let's see what Daniel is because that raid. Uh, I think Daniel might be a town hall 10. Let's go check him out real quick. But uh, yeah, as a town hall 10, to see that much loot on a town hall 8, that guy's storages are full. If a town hall 8 attacked that, that would be some freaking crazy, crazy loot. Um, let's go down, and I believe, yeah, so Liam's got a Liam's got an attack right here with some great loot as well. Um, 3,600 Dark Elixir, man. I'm trying to, I'm, I just upgraded my king, uh, or he's upgrading right now, and I've already gotten like, I'm almost up to 30,000 Dark Elixir again, and it just cost 80,000 to upgrade him. So uh, we're doing pretty good. I'm definitely happy with it. We are going to fast forward a little bit until he starts up here. There go the loons into the middle of the base, taking it out. Now, obviously, he's in Crystal 2, so he's going to want that loot bonus as well. So he's not just looking for the collectors. He's looking for that 50% at least. Um, I'm going to drop that other rage over there on that side. Got to get in there to that air defense. Otherwise, it is going to ruin his minions and uh, and his attack pretty much entirely. So these minions over here on the side just going to town, having a good old time destroying some loot. Um, he's got eight, I don't know, he's only got eight balloons left, and a lot of the loot is over here on the side. Now he does have his heroes, so we are going to see what happens when it comes to uh, that portion of this. But uh, there go the rest of the loons, dropping them off right there. Uh, thankfully there's no air defense really on this side. There is that one archer tower, so that's going to give him a little bit of trouble. But... His queen should be able to take out the entire bottom left side of this map. So uh, there goes his clan castle. Got a whole bunch. And here come the rest of the minions on this thing. Got some balloons and minions heading into the center of the base as well. And these minions will most likely take out that archer tower. They are going to continue working their way in. We've got a lot of loot down here in this corner. Um, he's going to need... No, he should be able to get it. There goes his king right there, 80%. And there's all of the loot, guys. 3,600 Dark Elixir. Give me some of that. Give me some of that Dark Elixir, right? <laughs> 249,000 gold, 267,000 Elixir. And I don't even know. Is this going to be a hundo? Is he going to get a hundo on this thing? I don't know. I didn't even look. I think it might have been a three-star. Let's fast forward. Yeah, man. Woo! 100%. Going to move on up in that trophy range to uh, hopefully get up there to Crystal 1 and get some more uh, get some more loot bonus. But that is another good raid. Guys, let me know if you're liking these. 
uh, you know, they're really, they're really easy to make videos on, so I can make these as much as y'all want. It's just me and my clan mates. Um, I had a, one of my raids in the last video. I wanted to show you guys uh, this attack right here that I had the very bottom, 323,002, uh, almost 300,000 elixir. I wanted to show you guys that one as well as the one directly above it, um, but those recordings, they're gone. Sadly, they're gone. So we're just gonna show our clan mates this time. But again, guys, leave a like if you're liking these videos. I'm showing you guys some awesome raids, some different strategies as well. We got some Barch, we got some Lunian, we got some the, some Go Guards, all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think uh, by leaving me a like, leave a comment as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, bro, all right? And uh, hey, as always, I'm gonna need you to keep calm and clash all of them, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you want to see some of my other more popular videos, check it out right here. Thanks for watching again. Peace.